Hey guys, Ohio River Rock Hunter here. This week's video is going to be on taxidermy. I got this nice black fox squirrel and I'm going to be showing you how I put him on a piece of wood to be mounted. Also, I'm going to be showing you some fly fishing videos and pictures. I'm a big fly fisherman and I'm going to be catching some stocked and native trout. Also some wilds. So don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoy this video and don't forget to subscribe. See you on the next one. Alright, Ohio River Rock Hunter here. Last year, I got a melanistic fox squirrel Mel melanistic meaning that it's black now this is a trait that's most common in fox or uh, gray squirrels rather but this was actually a fox squirrel much bigger than a gray squirrel so i did my own taxidermy on him and i never put him on a uh, piece of wood to hang him up on a wall so i was down at the river fishing with my family and i found this nice piece of wood I believe it's off of a uh, sycamore tree and I'm going to try to treat it and try to preserve it. It's a little bit on the rotten side but I'm going to put the polyurethane on it and I'm using the polyurethane because it hardens. It gets really hard compared to other treating products. So I'm going to put this on here. I'm probably going to do two or three coats on each side. Not sure yet and uh, I'll be back with you once I've done that. All right, got the third coat on. That's looking pretty good here. Um, you see it's darkened up a good bit, but I imagine once it dries out pretty good, um, it'll probably lighten up. You can see it has like a semi-glossy look to it, which is somewhere along the lines of what I was shooting for. I didn't go with a full gloss, I went with a semi-gloss, but I went heavier in some areas. So it kind of has like a, a wet look to it. I might go in once I put the squirrel on. I might touch up his whiskers and put a little bit of uh, this stuff on it, make it look like his whiskers are a little wet. Just add a little bit more lifelike, I don't know, characteristics to it. But yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's a nice piece of wood. So, uh, next clip will be me attaching the squirrel to it, or maybe I already have the squirrel attached to it, but. I'll show you the finished product either way. Later. Alright guys, here's the finished product. Um, as you can see, I got my buck here that I found in the last video. But yeah, here's the uh, melanistic fox squirrel. Turned out pretty good. I want to remind you, I'm not a taxidermist. This is my first time ever trying something like this. And I'm very happy with how this turned out. Um, when I pelted this guy out, I didn't have to get him tanned or anything what I used was borax on the pelt um, basically I made an incision on the inside on like the front of his body I guess right across both of his legs and I was able to pelt him out that way and stitch it back together uh, didn't have any splits or tears in the pelt at all I was very careful I used a razor knife but uh, I really love these animals really big outdoorsman and nature lover I think this was a very special animal that needed to be preserved. But yeah, he turned out really awesome. And I thank you guys for watching. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and I'll try to help you out. Later. And also guys, as you can see, I'm wearing my new Hardway Outdoors shirt. Uh, Hardway Outdoors is a YouTube channel on here. He's a big fly fisherman and hunter. Really interesting guy. Does a lot of crazy things. Go check out his channel and pick yourself up a shirt just like this one. <clears throat> I'm in the middle of nowhere fishing a, a stream that hasn't been stocked since, oh man, I want to say May. They stocked it in the beginning of May. It's like probably the first or second day of May they stocked the stream. And this is a stream that doesn't hold fish. The water gets super low in the summer, but this year we got some rain and this fish held. I just caught a golden rainbow trout, all of 20 inches. Just look at the colors on him, dude. 
on the fly. I caught him on a white streamer. He's got like a weird messed up hook jaw. It's awesome. Look at this fish. I cannot believe I just caught him. Here fly fishing. Just landed this little guy on the dry fly. Yeah, look at the colors on him. Beautiful fish.